Hi, my name is Ryan Havison. I'm the Group Program Manager for the In Control of Your PC team, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the cool stuff that we did with the Task Manager in Windows 8. So let's take a look at a pretty common scenario, which is you have a window that's not responding. Now in the old Task Manager, the Applications view had not only the processes, but it also had all of the top-level windows listed there, and so it was a pretty big list. Now if I show you in the new task manager, what we've done is we've simplified the default view to be just the applications. And so you can see here very easily that I have my application that's not responding. And I can get in and close it and be done and be on with the rest of my work. Now some performance issues are a little more challenging to diagnose. So if you're having general performance issues on your PC, one of the things you can do is use the task manager to see what resources are being used. Now in the past you could go to the processes tab and see all of the kind of raw data associated with each process, but that's pretty tricky. With the new task manager, you can go over here and look at more details. And when you open this up, what you see is what's called a heat map. Now the nice thing about a heat map is it will allow you to see in a visual way what's, which resources are being used and how much. So here you can see that my CPU is being used nearly 100%. And furthermore you can see that there's an application here that's using quite a bit of CPU resources. So I can go ahead and end that task and what you'll see is that very soon my CPU utilization goes down and generally my system should be more responsive. Now the other great thing that we did to the heat map is we added disk and network counters uh, per process. The old task manager only had CPU and memory and you would have to use a different tool to see the other resources. And here we've combined them all into one view. Now you remember the old task manager really was comprised of flat lists. There was no information hierarchy to help you understand the system. What we've done here in the new processes tab, you can see we have all the application processes that are listed under the applications group, the background processes are listed under their own group, and then if you scroll all the way down here to the bottom, you'll see all the Windows processes, and these are the things that are associated with the operating system itself. And scrolling down here, we've extended that grouping to the process level as well. So here you have all the service host processes. If you open up your own task manager, you'll see a bunch of entries for svchost.exe. And here what we've done is we've grouped all of the services associated with each service host entry under the parent process. Now I'll go back up here to the applications and show you how we've extended that grouping to applications as well. So here in Outlook, what we did is all of the top level windows, uh, which are the uh, email messages, we've grouped those together to the process. Similarly with other applications, the parent, all of the top level windows associated with that process are grouped together. The last thing that I want to show is that we've used friendly names throughout the system. And so if you look down here at the background processes, for example this one, the fast user switching utility service, in the old task manager this showed up as fssvc.exe. And you really would have no idea what that means. Now you still may not know what the fast user switching utility service is, and so what we've done is we've integrated with web search, and so really by just right clicking and saying search the web, you'll bring up your default browser with uh, information about that process. So there you have it. I showed you how you can use the new task manager to easily find an application that you want to close. I showed you how the heat map makes it easy to find and diagnose performance issues across multiple resources. I showed you how we use grouping to help you understand all the processes on your system. And I showed you friendly names and web search that allows you to drill in and find out more information about a particular process. As engineers, we really love using the new task manager and we really can't wait until you can try it too.